hi guys welcome to my channel how are you guys doing hope everyone is doing great if you are new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're also welcome so in this video i'm going to show you how to cut and sew this sleeveless dress with a back c cut armhole so let's get started so this is the fabric i'll be working with it's a jean fabric but the back looks like a adjusted fabric okay it's two years and stretchy now why uh, ma marking out your measurements please remember to consider that that is that the fabric is stretchy so what you're going to be doing is uh, if you divide your round measurement by four you minus half of an inch from it let's assume that the bust you're working with is 40 when you divide 40 by four that will give you 10 inches then you minus half of an inch from 10 inches that will give you 9.5 okay then you add your seam allowance so that by the time you wear it wears it it will you know give that person a perfect fit okay that is how to work with a with a, 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 a stretchy fabric but if the the fabric is super stretchy then you can minus one inch from the quarter of your round measurement i hope i'm making sense so looking at the fabric you can see i've already marked out some lines this vertical line you're seeing here is a zipper allowance line if you look at the dress you can see that it has a zipper at the front okay then this other line this top line is the starting line so you can see i've already marked out the curve that is a, a neck line curve now what i'm going to be doing is i want to be drafting the front um sorry the back pattern on the front first okay then i'll cut out i'll use it to cut the back then we shape the neckline for the front and the armhole that is what i'm going to do okay so when i'm done drafting this i will not make the neck to be deep i will use i will cut it as if i'm cutting the back then i will still use it to cut the back then now we shape the armhole and the neckline okay but remember that the zipper is at the front looking at the style okay so the next thing we're going to do here is to take our measurements that is the shoulder remember that I'm, I'm placing my tape at the, the zipper line okay the shoulder i'm working with is seven inches plus half of an inch for seam allowance that will give us seven and a half okay at that point i'm going to take a, a armhole line that is a armhole measurement which is um, uh, eight inches then i'm going to minus one inch for say shoulder slope then the next thing is to mark the neck width and the neck height the neck width i'm working with is three inches i'm going to connect to the to the one inch uh so a uh, one inch uh, mark i made earlier that is the line you're seeing here okay i'm trying to explain what i have here that's the one inch you're seeing uh, sorry there the line you're seeing here so the next is to connect the neckline down the, so the neckline for the back is three inches by one inch depth okay so this is it so the next thing is to take a, a bust measurement the bust measurement i'm working with is 33 inches divide by four will give us a uh, one uh, eight one quarter eight one quarter now remember that i i told you that if you're working with a jersey fabric you remove half on of a uh, half of an inch from you the quarter of your round measurements i explained that uh, before the quarter of our bust is eight one quarter so i'm supposed to minus half of an inch okay to give her a perfect fit then i'll add the seam allowance no i'm not going to be minusing that rather i'll add half of an inch to that making it eight three quarter so when i'm sewing i'm going to sew use one inch for the seam allowance i hope i'm making sense so eight three quarter is uh, uh eight one quarter is our actual measurement then i'll add half of an inch that will give us three uh, eight three quarter and this is eight three quarter the next is to take our uh, waist a half length is 17 inches and this is it at that point i'm going to take a round waist the waist i'm working with is 28 inches divided by four will give us seven inches okay plus half of an inch will give us seven and a half remember that you're when you're sewing we use a one inch seam allowance because we are supposed to minus seven a uh, half of an inch from the seven remember that okay so next from that point i'm going to take the hip the hip i'm working with is a uh, nine inches the hip depth is nine inches and our round hip is 40 43 for three inches and when you divide 43 that will give you give us a 10 three quarter okay plus half of an inch will give us a 11 one quarter so this is 11 and one quarter okay 
So coming to the waistline again, I'm going to take the uh, uh, above the knee. Above the knee is uh, 17 inches, and this is 17 inches. Remember, it's a pencil gown. It's a fitted pencil gown. So we need to take the above the knee, okay? So from the waist to the, the above the knee is 17 inches. So what I'm going to do there is to take the measurement of the hip again. We have 11 and a half, sorry, 11 one quarter, and I'm going to minus two inches from that 11 one quarter because we want the dress to be tapered, okay? When you minus 11, uh, two inches from 11 and uh, 11 one quarter, we should have nine one quarter. Nine one quarter. But I'm going to make it nine and a half, okay? So this is nine and a half. So that nine and a half, I'm going to take it down to the hem of the dress. By the way, the hem of the length of the dress is a uh, fifty inches. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to connect the points. So the bust to the waist to the hip. Then to the above the knee, the then down to the hemline. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to properly shape the hip so that it will not be pointed. Okay. And you see so now we forgot to do uh our armhole uh curve so what i'm going to do now is to divide the line then get my midpoint okay then go go in by half of an inch and you see then i'll connect it this way to form the armhole curve can you see? So we are done with the, the fronts. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add the shoulder allowance of half of an inch here before I cut. Okay. So if you look closely, you see that I've already placed the, the front uh, on the piece I'm using for the back. And I move the seam allowance of one inch away from the center back. Can you see? You can see the line. And you see the center back. The same thing I did at the hem line. Okay. So we don't need to include the zipper allowance at the back. So that's why I place my fabric this way. Okay, making sure that the seam allowance of one inch is not included at the back piece. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to trace the this out and I'll cut it out. So this is the back. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to reshape the armhole for the back. We also reshape for the front. Okay. So for the uh, uh, neckline for the front, we're going to um, increase it to three and a half. So remember that the depth is one inch. While drafting the uh, uh, while drafting it will mark one inch for the depth. So we're going to increase to three inches. Okay. So this is it. Or we we'll do three and a half. Three and a half is okay. So this is it. We now reconnect back to the shoulder. And you see. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So another thing to do here is to reshape the armhole. Okay, so 
it's left for you to determine how wide you want your shoulder area to be that the shoulder uh, shoulder slope to be okay so i'll be doing a i will be doing one inch that is from the shoulder uh, area here i'm going to go in by one and half this is one and half so i'm eliminating that half inch for seam allowance i added earlier so from this point i'm going to connect it this way so i'm going to cut it out now i want to measure the shoulder slope again what we have here is three inches so i'll shape it well then i'll cut So this is our new armhole for the front. We'll still come back to the front while drafting the pocket. But we'll go back to the uh, back to reshape the, the armhole. Okay, we're not touching the neckline for the back. It's only the armhole. So if you look at the uh, armhole, you'll see that it has a C cut. Okay. So what we're going to do here is to get the midpoint of remember that we may get the midpoint of the armhole. Now remember that we we need to remove the half inch for holding the shoulder. So we we'll now take our measurements from there. That we have eight inches. Eight inches with minus one inch for seam allowance will be left with half a uh, four. So this is where our midpoint is. So what I'm going to do is to go in by go in by two inches at that point then i'm going to measure the shoulder slope of three inches remember that the front is three inches so the shoulder of the front and the back must match up okay so this is our front i'm trying to match it up with the, the back okay so what we have there is three inches okay so what i'm going to do next is to from this point I'm going to connect to the midpoint, then draw out the, the C cut this way. You can make yours to be deeper if you, if you are not okay with this, okay? It all depends on what you want. So I'll go ahead and cut, cut it now. So this is it. So we're done with the back. So coming to the front again. So this our uh, front. I'm going to notch the waistline. I will notch the hip line. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to take the measurements of where I want the, to place my pocket. <clears throat> At this point, I'll be needing my nipple, nip, uh, nipple to nipple measurement. So the nipple to nipple distance of my client is eight inches, okay? So I'm going to place my tape away from the seam allowance. That is at the one inch seam allowance line, okay? Then I'll, ma I will measure four inches. So this is the four inches here. So I'm going to take that down to the hip line this is hip line nine inches then i'll add two inches to the three inches to that and there i have 12 inches so the length of the pocket is going to be 12 inches then we are going to add a one inch for seam allowance to fold in the top part and the down part making it 13 okay so at this point i'm going to measure to know the width of the pocket so the width of the pocket is going to be six one quarter okay let me be sure from this point nipple to nipple distance is four inches 
please we have to mark the nipple to nipple to this uh, distance so that we'll be sure of what we are doing four inches okay so i'll use a straight that to connect the points so that i will not make sure i will not make any mistake okay so this is it so at that point i'm going to take the weight and the weight is for six and a half inches okay so the width of the pocket is going to be six and a half inches while the length is going to be 12 inches plus one inch seam allowance that will give us a 13. so i'm going to use this to cut uh, this measurement to cut out the pocket then so this is the fabric i cut out for the pocket as you can see so the the width is seven inches instead of 6.5 because I'm going to be folding the center front in by half of an inch, okay? So the length still remains 13 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring the piece for the front. That's a uh, dress, the front piece, okay? Then I'm going to locate where I have the waist. So this is the waist. So I'll try to um, push the place it uh, half of an inch below the, the fabric I'm using for the for the pocket because the uh, this half of an inch I'm going to fold it in okay that's why I'm bringing this one below half of an inch okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to um, make sure that the side of the pocket will align with the hip area so this is the hip there's the notch part of the waist remember okay there's notch part of the waist you can see that the, this one is uh, 0 0.5 uh, longer than the waist area okay so the next thing we are going to do now is to trace the sides okay see our uh, hip here so i'm going to trace here down to uh, up to the waist area So next thing I'm going to do now is to bring it forward as a pocket, okay? So I'm going to measure the pocket opening and I will be working with 8 inches and this is my 8 inches here, okay? So this is the 8 inches, that's how open I want the pocket to be. Remember that we're going to be folding the top part by half of an inch, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is to determine our width of our, uh, our belt. Because we're going to be inserting the belt, we're going to be using this uh, pocket as a belt holder as well, okay? So, how you have to, con the, how the width of your, your belt, ha you have to consider the width of your belt, okay? So, for the width of my belt, I'll be working with uh, um, two inches, okay? So I'm going to mark two inches, then I'll add one inch for allowance because I'm going to fold this here and I'm also going to fold the side. So I'll measure three inches and I'll mark from the top part, remember, I'll measure three inches here, okay? Now I'm going to come down by two inches again. Now remember that we're going to fold the top part, so whatever you're doing, make sure you uh, add the allowance for folding in. So I'm going to come down by two and a half instead of two inches i'm going to come down by two and a half because of that allowance at the top so the next thing we are going to do now is to connect our pocket so coming to the eight inches mark here i'm going to go in by one inch because one inch is our same allowance for the side then i'm going to give the pocket the the pocket uh, curve this way can you see So we are done with this pocket. So I'm going to cut this out. So this is the pocket. You can see I folded in the center front by half of an inch, the down part, the top part, the curvy area. Then I stitch it down. Can you see? So this is the one I've already fixed on the dress. Can you see? So at the edges, I stitch it down. That explains the double stitches you are seeing there. At the top part and also the down part 
leaving two inches for the belt holder. Can you see? So the only place remaining here is just the side. So I'll get the back piece of the dress, then join it and close up the, the back. Now for the hem part, I hem by one inch, then double stitch as well. That is the hem part of the dress. Can you see? So next is the armhole for the back. I'm still not satisfied. It's not as curvy as I want. So at the midpoint of the armhole, I'm going to go in by three quarter of an inch, then reshape so that I can have something close to what we are seeing on the thumbnail okay so for the armhole and the neckline i'll be using bias to hem it okay then there's a zipper i'm using for the front so i'll go and finish up the dress and i'll come and show you the finished look so this is the finished look the dress is looking so beautiful you see so a zipper pockets belts so the for the belt is two inches that is the weight is two inches okay so those the slit area i folded it in using hemming gum so those are the back you can see how the back looks like you can still go in if you wish okay that is to reshape your armhole for the back you can still go in okay so that is it for this dress. Thank you so much for watching and see my next one.